Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a very dear friend, and he is the star of the television series CPA or uh, IRS or See Something Sharky, Mr. Don Rickles. That's it? That's it. The tune is Caballero. It's not a holiday. Sit down. Good evening, Don. How are you, buddy? Frank, this is one of the most exciting nights. I'm in a tux. Ed's in a tux. George Burns, God bless you, the senior man, and this man did not figure you were big enough to dress up. <laughs> I, personally, am fed up that I'm dressed like this. Of course, the last time I was, it was in Brooklyn, when Carmine Gambonanzo said... Guido's gone. <laughs> now, Italians, please don't phone in. I am a Jew and you're Italians, and we're all working for one cause, to find out how this girl got to look like that. How do you feel? Before, I feel great. Before you, before you jump all over me for a minute. Jump all over me, Frank. Say, I'm not that say. lonely. I... I want to tell you that I'm so happy about the success of your show. I really am. Thanks. You deserve it. It's Thanks. a good show. Funny show. That's a funny show. Thanks. Coming from you, Frank, I appreciate it. And I've gotten a lot of shots. Freddie DeCava, DeCuva, and uh, Johnny Carson. They've all made shots at me and uh, with fun and with love. Yeah. And I'm delighted because I think we have a great group of kids. I love I'm, the kids on the show. They're all and, clever. And we They're funny. we worked hard at Dick Slattery. We've added as a fine captain. And the ratings came in this week, and it seems America is finding us, and we're delighted. I'm glad for you. I think it's, I think it's, it's about time, actually. It's about time. Uh, what else is new, Frank? Well, I'll tell you what's new. <laughs> the following so people will report to an alley in Brooklyn. <laughs> Manganzo Mambananzo. Un papi tumbaninzi. Aldo Mambanazzo. Now, cut that's that a out. cancel. That's a cancel. See, with Frank, if I may say, Frank, because you've been singing and dancing and just breaking it up out here. <laughs> uh, with Frank, they always make it like gangsters, Italians are gangsters, Jews have all the money. Well, that's a fact. But they always make it like Italian guys, the right, the Irish writer, always the politicians, Carol, George, George, you up? years, I can see my mother now, God bless her in Florida, going, don't make fun of the elderly! <laughs> George, I'll give you 500. You don't even have to stay with her. <laughs> I'll take 300. <laughs> I love him, and I, I know him so many years, and he's a great man. And Ed, I never liked you. <laughs> Ed was in the Marine Corps when the planes were attacking Pearl Harbor. He was going <laughs> to the Queen. <laughs> Hurry back, John. Hurry back. <laughs> Hurry back, John. <laughs> when I ask you a very honest question, I want an honest answer. Sure. Who is your you favorite? Lie? Well, who is your favorite male singer? Honest? Yeah. Dick Haynes. <laughs> Dick Hames, I've never, I've heard you with the modern ears at the Paramount. Ooh. You always annoyed. I watch the Ink Spots, the Mills Brothers. Notice how I pick black guys because they make up my bunks. But I'll tell you this. Now that's a joke. You black people. I must tell you, Frank, it's all over for you, Frank. You're, you always say to me, and always he says, with warmth and love, he says to me, Don, stop at the age. Age is how you feel. And I can hear my mom and my darling wife, who's not even in the audience. Your wife, Barb, is in the audience. I spotted her, because she's loaded like this. The jewelry is... <laughs> so your world goes. Well, where's Barbara? Where is she? Barbara's in the dressing room going, it's an exciting night. <laughs> On the wedding night, she went, no! Is it true you keep her in a vault? 
That's a good one, Frank. That's a good one. Anyway, uh... Look at this. George is in heat for an Indian lady. <laughs> I want to hear more about Dick Haynes. Why do you pick a man like that? Because, Frank, it's all over you. And I got all your albums, all your tapes in the car. And I got to tell you, the time is short because we had such a bombastic show. Carol, God bless you with last to our Angie. I mean this from my heart. I know you're married to Burt Bacharach. I'm married to my Barbara. I want to be with you so bad. <laughs> Frank does too, but the judge won't believe it again. We're right back. We're gonna break a station. Gotta break a thing. <laughs> I may say, and Doc and the guys and you folks and out there, uh, that Frank is heading back to Caesar's Palace where he's breaking. We're getting on the plane right now. And he's on the plane right now. We got with Jackie Gill, a wonderful performer. Good comic, yeah. And don't you come up next week? When do you open? Yeah, I open uh, Thursday night at the Sahara. Right. And Frank, if you get a chance, when you drive by your car with Jilly, Jilly is his dear friend and my dear friend. And Jilly said to me last night, "What?" <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. You at home and you in the audience here. I'd like to thank President Joe Scandori. Thank Joe Scandori. Joe, shut up. Ed McMahon, Ange, Angie Dickinson, George Burns, Carol O'Connor, and my buddy Don Rickles, and Doc, of course, in the orchestra. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, Johnny will be back. Cloris Leachman will be a guest. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Lionel experts Chris and Charlotte McBride, and from the Metropolitan Opera Company, Miss Judith Blagan. Thank you so much, everybody. Be sure to see Contact on Terry Street. Thank you.